First off, uh, from one veteran to another, I respectfully thank you for your service to our nation. Likewise, thank you, appreciate you. Please give me your definition of patriotism. Did the January 6th insurrectionists display patronism as some of them claim they did? No, of course not. I mean, that was not a good day for the country. Um, I think the media has taken that, and I think the left has taken that and really tried to politicize it, but it was not a good day for the country. You know, patriotism to me um, is willing to put yourself out there uh, and put service above self. I mean, you serve, anyone that serves in the military, they're writing a check payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including their life. You don't know where they're gonna send you, you don't know what you're gonna be able to do, but when you're doing that, uh, you, are, you are pursuing a higher purpose. And so to me, that's noble. We've had a lot of problems in the military now with recruiting. Recruiting's at a generational low uh, in this country since the Vietnam War. I think there's a lot of reasons for that, and I will rectify that. Uh, but part of it is we haven't had a president elected who's been a veteran since 1988, uh, a, a president that served in a foreign conflict. So I would be the first to do that. And part of what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out all the political, the woke, all the nonsense out of the military's commander in chief day one. Uh, but we are going to hold up military service as being something that, that's a noble cause. You know, Ronald Reagan was inspiring when he would talk about some people uh, uh, spend a lifetime not knowing whether they made a difference, but a U.S. Marine doesn't have that problem. John F. Kennedy said people can look back on their life with a great deal of satisfaction saying, I served in the United States Navy. And so this is something that I think is very important. So I will be an advocate for military service. Uh, I will talk about that being a worthy endeavor for young people to pursue, and we are gonna solve this problem. We are gonna get more people signing up. You're running for president, obviously. The physical safety should not be an issue with our, with our schools, uh, and parents need to have confidence in that. So I think what we'll do is support efforts like I did in Florida, school resource officers, uh, help with hardening, uh, but also help identify students that are exhibiting really problematic behavior. The Democrats want Trump to be the candidate. They are going to talk about all the legal stuff, January 6th. That will be what the election will be about. You don't want it to be a referendum on Trump and the past. You want it to be a referendum on Biden's failures, on our positive vision for this country.